If I've learned anything this week from my very short-lived career as a global shipping vessel boat captain, it's that it's incredibly easy to get stuck. And you know what? The same can be true for guitar. So today we're going to talk about a couple different concepts and combine them into one fluid musical exercise, and we're going to talk about the whole thing. It's going to sound like this. kind of playing around uh it's a very simple one three six chord progression in the official key of 2021 the key of b flat so we're gonna get unstuck right it sometimes it takes a herculean effort but here's what we're doing we're starting with a b flat major seven chord okay this is the one chord in the key of b flat we're gonna move this around too so if you're a b flat hater you can just skip a few minutes ahead we'll do it in a different key maybe even the key of c if you're lucky and uh, looks like this, right? So the B flat on the E string is the sixth fret, all right? Now we're gonna learn the chord first, then we're gonna talk about the scale, but it's not gonna be boring, I promise. All right, so point your finger, six E, we're gonna skip the A string, ring finger, seven D, pinky, seven G, middle finger, six B, okay? B flat, major seven, the first chord in the key of B flat, all right? Now, again, if we just go through the B flat major scale, it looks like this. probably practice scales and you get stuck just kind of like forward and backwards and blah 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 it doesn't really make any sense musically but this will all right so six eight five six eight five seven eight all right we're gonna come back to this in a second but the reason we're using this major seven chord aside from the fact that i just turned everything into a major seven chord is because if you just take your pointer finger and go back a fret to the A string, fifth fret, now we have a D minor chord, all right? B flat major seven, D minor. So D is the one, two, third note, one second, third. I don't know how to count in different ways like that. It's the third note in the B flat major. So the one chord to the three chord, a very easy pivot. You just have to move one finger, right? All right, and then the next one we're gonna do is it gonna be the relative minor in the key of B flat. Now, a real easy trick to find the relative minor chord of any key is take your root note and then just back it up three frets, all right? We end up with G minor. Now, this is a great spot to put that G minor pentatonic scale on, okay? Everybody knows the minor pentatonic shape. Starting at a G, it would be three, six, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, six, three, six. Okay, now the chord that we're going to use for this looks like this. G minor 7. All right, it's just the third fret, skipping the A string. So 3E, e, and then 3D, G, B. In fact, this is mostly a B flat chord. So all of this is connected. So now we have a couple different pieces of information we're going to start sewing together. We have three different chords. Okay, we have a minor pentatonic position shape, and we have a major scale shape all right now we're going to turn it into a piece of music so what we're going to do is we're going to take this i'm going to separate the b flat major chord into a root note and its chord then i'm going to go to the three chord do the same thing separate the root from the chord again specifically when you're doing kind of like solo accompaniment things to make it sound a little more vibey i think it's best to separate that root note from the rest of the chord all right, and you get kind of a cool, just kind of back and forth, bouncy vibe to your playing, right? So B flat major seven to D minor to G minor seven, okay? Now, this G minor spot, the relative minor, like I said, is very important because there's so much easy stuff that you can do to make it sound cool. We're gonna take a run from the minor pentatonic scale, a really easy one. We're just gonna go just like that. 3, 5, 3, 5, A string, D string. All right, so B flat major 7, D. Okay, so you may have already seen how I did the minor pentatonic. We can call that a lick, we can call it a run, whatever. We're just playing notes that are in this key. This is a great way to remember or just use your ear to find out what notes are in this key, what notes are going to sound good together. Really easy way to just go through that shape kind of connect it with G minor's spot, the relative minor, the sixth chord in any key. And then what we're gonna do 
Because we're going to focus on this fifth fret on the D string, okay? Now, we've already talked about this, albeit in a different position. There's B flats major scale, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, six was kind of a special note because it's the relative minor of that key, which is the G, okay? So we're going to run this scale, minor pentatonic, into the root note of the chord we were playing, and then we're going to slide back into the B flat major scale. And then I'm sliding into the B flat octave, okay? Which again is the eighth fret of the D string. Okay, so basically the whole point of this is to think of a chord progression, B flat, D minor, G minor, and then think of those root notes and kind of target the note that the chord is, right? A B flat from a D to a G, and then kind of use what we know about each of those chords, each of those positions, and try to connect them musically in a fluid way, all right? So, B flat, D minor, G. Play around in the scale. And then you'll notice after I do that run, and I get to the G minor, G minor's kind of area in this chord progression is done, and we have to move into B flat again. So I'm gonna slide into the B flat in that major scale position that I did. Like I said, it was the eighth fret on the D string. And then I'm gonna know that I can just go just backwards in order from that major scale practice that you've probably already positioned and maybe got stuck with before, right? So again, this is just a way that we can still do things in order in a way that you know, repetitive practice will definitely help you with, but it sounds a lot more musical. Okay, notice how I kind of hang on that B flat just a little bit longer. Bum ba da 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 dum dum dum. And again, uh, in this hand position, playing it this way, my pinky is on the B flat on that D string. But coming from that G, I'm, it's my ring finger. So you'll notice as I'm going through, I'm changing. It starts on the ring, middle, pointer. Now, once I get to that pointer, finger right here, now I'm back in the shape that I'm more comfortable with, and then I can end it on a B flat, okay? So, again, maybe you just hate the sound of horns, and you're, you hate horn players for some stupid reason. I don't play in B flat, that's ridiculous. Let's go to C major. Everything is movable, right? We didn't use any open strings to help us out, so if we want to do something in C, let's just move it two frets higher. C major, the three chord in C. What's the three chord in C? Just go through the alphabet. C, D, E, right? And that'll take us to the relative minor of C, which is the six of C. C, D, E, F, G, A. A minor, A minor pentatonic, everybody's favorite. C major, the three chord D, A. Three chord E is what I meant to say. C major, E minor, A. thing with uh, the people's key, the key of G major. G major, B minor, open E. Okay, so again, this isn't supposed to be like, oh, just play it like this. I think it's more of just a way to get unstuck. Okay, kind of like I wish I had this information privy to me when I was holding up the global supply chain for weeks, potentially months on end last week, but now I'm back to being a YouTuber. So this is what we're doing here. Uh, just take whatever information you have and then connect it to a chord, right? B flat, I just know that I'm in this key. Maybe I wanna do an arpeggio or something, I know. Maybe something like that, like a major arpeggio, like that. And I wanna connect it to here so I can climb back through. Just make kind of like a hot point right here. All right, the 10th fret of the G string. So maybe I'll start here. I know that this G minor pentatonic, I can start it here. See how I did that? So I just went to G minor pentatonic here, and then I connected that with that hot point that I did here that I can go back down through that arpeggio. So again, this is kind of like a way of I always think that connecting everything to a chord in a progression is like the ultimate way to really 
kind of wrap your head around just how music works and moves and stuff like that. So definitely let me know if you have any questions. And uh, if you want more teaching like this, I've got like 100 lessons on my Patreon that goes through things in order. If any of this is over your head, definitely check that out, linked below. And uh, listen to the new album that we put out last week uh, from the Emerald Riders because uh, it's pretty saucy. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. Hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you.